Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this demo, we are going to show you how to configure the Zoho SSO with AWS Cognito. Firstly, we will configure Zoho app in Mini Orange. Log in using username and password sent to your email on account registration. Click on Apps tab. Click on Add Application button. Now, select application type as SAML and click on Create App button. Search your Zoho application by clicking on Z alphabet. Now click on your application. Enter all the required details like SP Entity ID and ACS URL. Click on Save button. Now click on the Select button against your newly created application, and click on Edit link. Select the email address from the name ID and name ID format drop-down, and click on Save button. Now click on the Select button against your application and go to Metadata link. Now select information required to authenticate via external IDP option. Now, let's configure the Zoho SSO in admin account. Log in to your Zoho application domain as the account administrator and access Zoho Mail. Now click on SAML Authentication option. Click on Edit and enter your domain name in the portal URL. Under SAML Authentication URL click on Edit. Go to the IDP metadata and copy the SAML login URL. Paste the SAML login URL under the Login URL field. Copy the SAML logout URL and paste it into logout URL field. Enter change password URL from our Zoho setup guide. Now download the certificate by clicking on the download certificate button. Click on get key from file button. Click on the choose file button. Now click on the downloaded certificate and upload your certificate. Click on OK to save the Zoho SAML SSO settings. Now, we will configure the AWS Cognito. Log in to your Amazon Web Services console as an admin. Click on Manage User Pools. Now click on Create User Pools button. Enter your pool name as you want. And click on Review Defaults. Now click on the Edit icon and Enable Email or Phone Number option. Click on Next Step button. Go to the Review tab and click on Create Pool button. Your user pool was created successfully. Go to Domain Name and enter a domain name for your app. After adding domain name you can check its availability by clicking on the Check Availability button. After entering a valid domain name click the Save Changes button. Click on Add App Client, and then click on Add an App Client link. Enter App Client Name. Disable the Generate Client Secret option, and enable the Username Password Base Authentication option. Click on Create App Client button. Now go to App Client Settings and click on Select All option. Copy the callback URL from Mini Orange Identity Provider and paste it here. Select Authorization Code Grant as Allowed OAuth Flows, and select Open ID as Allowed OAuth Scopes. After selecting all details click on Save Changes button. Go to Users and Groups and then click on Create User. Fill all required information and click on Create User. Now, we will configure AWS Cognito as Identity Source in Mini Orange. Go to Mini Orange Admin Console and click on User Store section. Click on Add User Store button. Click on AWS Cognito tab. Enter your IDP name. Now go to Cognito Dashboard and click on General Setting tab and copy the Pool ID. Paste the Pool ID under the User Pool ID field. Now copy the Cognito region from User Pool ID, and paste it into AWS Cognito region field. Now go to Apps Client in Cognito Dashboard and copy the Client ID. Paste the Client ID here. Now go to User Pools and click on Federated Identities. Click on Create New Identity Pool button. Enter your Identity Pool name. 
Enable unauthenticated identities and authentication flow settings. Click on Create Poll button. Click on Allow button. Now copy the identity pool ID. Paste the identity pool ID here. Click on Save button. Your identity source configuration have been saved. Against your identity source click on Select and click on Make Default. Let's see how it works. Go to your private window and log in using Zoho Portal URL. It will redirect to the AWS customized login page. Enter your AWS credentials and click on Sign In. You have successfully logged into your Zoho account. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions, drop us a query on info at securify.com.